and welcome to The Sooty Show! Sooty, are you there? Can't see anybody. Oh, there's Mr. Wolf there. That's Sweet's friend, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf! <laughs> Do you know where Sooty is? <laughs> <laughs> he's, in the, he's in the workshop. <laughs> I'll see if I can find him in just a minute. Sooty, are you in there? In the workshop? Sooty? <laughs> are you in the workshop? Is he... <laughs> he's what? He's what? <laughs> no, I don't think he will be because the workshop. <laughs> but the high, well, you just said that. Come on up here, you frightened me to death. Hey, look, one thing I was wondering, what on earth is this thing here? It's an antique baby alarm for alarming antique babies. Goodness me. Now, what I really came about, Sooty, was that chair out there. I'd really like to buy that. Oh, you can't sell it without consulting your partner. Well, who's your partner? Don't tell me. Sweep, yes. Where is he? He's in the workshop. I'll go and get Sweep. Just hang on a minute. Sweep, are you in there? Sweep? Sweep <laughs> squad. You're not starting that again, are you? Sweet! Look, I wish you wouldn't keep kidding me. But... Sweet, will you come out of there? <laughs> who who hugged that hoofer in my ear hole? <laughs> You're gonna tell a lie, it was Mr. Wolf. Oh, was it? I'll teach him a lesson, just a minute. Mr. Wolf! <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> go on, go back to sleep again. <laughs> go on. Hey, sweet, what on earth do you do in this shop? You make reprodu reproduction antique furniture. Oh, well, I don't suppose we could see you working, could we? Oh, now, this will be very interesting because sweet makes furniture. He makes it new, and then he makes it look like an antique. Now, it's a very delicate job, this, and it takes a great deal of skill. And it's... Myself thinking. What do you do with it now? Oh, into the workshop and finish it off. All right, you take it into the workshop. He's just going to finish it off. All right, well, at least he's happy in his work, isn't he? Yes, all right, you see, this is what's called giving it the patina of time. Terrible thing. Hang on, listen, listen, Sissy. You can't hear anything. That's what I mean, it's gone quiet. Let's see if it's finished. I'll have a look. Sweep, are you in there? It's very dark in there. Sweep! <laughs> Sweep! <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> it was Mr. Wolf. Just a minute, I'll teach my lesson. Mr. Wolf! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> hey, hey, Sweep, do you mean to say that this is a genuine antique now? <laughs> genuine firewood? Well, why didn't you tell me you were chopping that thing up for... what? But I'd like to see a secret. Yes, I would. A trade secret? Yes, I would. I'd like to see a trade secret. Wouldn't you all like to see a trade secret? Yeah. Well, that's the final touch that makes an antique really look like an antique. But well, what on earth is it? Let's have a look. Woodworm. Look at that woodworm. Be careful. You're kidding me again, aren't hello, you? Oh, hello, hey, Matthew, Sue. Nice to see you. I didn't know that you worked here. Oh, yes, Matthew. Uh, I make the tea, Matthew. Oh, yes. Would you like a cup? I'd love a cup of tea. Well, Is there's some down there if you'd like Oh, yes, I can see it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh -oh. Sue, that tea's stone cold. Well, of course it is, Matthew. <laughs> it's antique tea from an antique teapot. Antique mm. tea? Yes, we think it was brewed round the turn of the last century. Oh, you do, do you? Well, antique yeah. tea is one thing that I can do with it. Hey, listen, oh. listen, boys, boys. Yeah. What is the most expensive antique you've got in the shop? I'm very interested. Can you show me? I'm very interested in the expensive... Oh. A genuine Ming vase? That's a Ming vase made in China. It must be worth an absolute fortune. I've never seen one Corbs. of these. Just a minute, just a minute, Butch. I yes. never... Corbs. Hang on a minute. I'm talking about this vase. It really is amazing. What does what have to do with it? Oh. Oh. Who did that? He did. 
she did. He did. He did. He did. He did. Oh, he did. I'll teach him a lesson. Mind, Butch. Mr. Wolf. Don't do that. It's what? It's broken. Oh, look. You're right. You're right. I've broken the antique vase, Sooty. What am I going to do about that? There's another six dozen coming from Korea this afternoon. Oh, team. Why didn't you tell me there was another six dozen? What, do you, what are you doing here anyway, Butch? I've come to buy that chair out there, haven't I? That one out there? Certainly, sir. If you'll come with me, I'll make you out a receipt. Walk this way. Mm. Well, coy, if I walk that way, I'd get arrested. Oh, yes, the, the old gags are the best ones, aren't they, Butch? Hang on a minute. I wanted to buy that chair. I shouldn't have dilly-dallied around. I wasn't dilly dally What? You got something else I can sit on from around the same period? Well, let's have... Look at that. It's a potty. Well, I think you're a bit potty, sweet. Go on. I don't want to have that thing. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to bother with antiques anymore. I'm going to stick to things that are right up to the minute from now. And here's something that's always right up to the minute. Let's have a nice big sooty show welcome for Mr. Freddie Davis. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Hello, boys and girls. Nice to see you all again. I've come for a very special reason today, because I've come to do an audition to get on this programme as a regular, you see. I, I think this is a smashing show. It's a pretty show, isn't it, boys and girls? Yeah! Having a marvellous time, aren't we? Yeah! Right, what are you doing? Well, I thought I'd go and find out who the boss is of this show and try and chat him up to get a job, you see. Is this the boss here? Hello, excuse uh, me, young lady. Uh, hello, Mr. Davis. Hello, um, mm. I, I want to know if, if it's possible to do an audition to get on this programme, please. Uh, well, I only work here, Mr. Davis. I'm not the boss. He's up there. Oh, this is the boss here? Mm. Well, uh, not exactly. Uh, what do you want, anyway, Tosh? Well, well, as a matter of fact, I, uh, the name is Davis, not Tosh, but I would Davis. like a job on this programme. Is that possible? Yeah, uh, I don't know, Tosh Davis. You'll have to speak to the governor. Who's the governor? He's over oh. there. He's over there, him? Yeah. Well, he's over there anyway. This one over here? He's over there. <laughs> Excuse me, are you the boss of this programme? You're not. Who he's is there? He's up there. Oh, he's up there. Oh, that, oh, Animal on the drums, I see. Animal, what do you mean, Animal? animal? Just come down here a moment, Animal. What Excuse me, but I just wanted to know if I could get a, get a job on this program, because I, I think that this program, The Muppet Show, is fantastic. The Muppet Show? We're not The Muppet Show! This is The Muppet Show! We're a Muppet Show! This is The Muppet Show! Show! Muppet Show! Muppet Show! Muppet Show! Muppet Show! Show! Muppet Show! Muppet Show! Muppet Show! Muppet Show! Muppet Show! I was only joking. I know it's a sooty show. And your sooty and your sweep and your butch and your suit. That's right. And who are those two new ones on the back? Well, we don't talk about them. I'm not surprised either. Well, as a matter of fact, I've come with a very special song and it's all about sweet. Oh, that's nice. Can I sing it? Yeah, yeah well, where's the music? Oh, I brought all the music for you here. All the dots. Uh, now, there's, there's oh, the music thank for you, Sue. Baby. The music for you on the drums there, Sooty. And nice to be back with you on the show again. There's, and you've got the part to sing on there. All right, there you go. Okay, and that's your part, part there. It? That's the trombone part there. Well, Are we ready then, boys? Yeah, yeah I'm going to count you in after four. Ready? Mm. Oh, one, two, three, four. along the way all he does is dream of sausages all day he has made his uncle harry lose his hand oh, one big if his ladder covered would be bad now shoot butch if it's trouble that you want he can't be beat because his flipping brains are in his flipping feet That's not true with his furry friend he's always up to pranks but the two of them are thick as two short flanks i've heard it said inside his head there's a four, four, seven. That's not true. His name is Sweet. He's got a sausage for a brain. He's quite unique. There can't be two of them to say. His thoughts are deep. God, he even stays out in the rain. His name is Sweet. He makes me weep. His, His name, name is Sweet. Suck it to me, Freddy. When it comes to bones, he certainly leads the way. Nice one. He can sniff them out from half a mile away. He makes a lot of fun for Sophie and Sue. Right. And he makes a lot of fun for me and you. God, what this mutton-headed parrot face should try. Charming. It's to place a lot his ear, his flipping eye. Then if I live one and he makes it a pair. Right. He'll find nothing twixt his lung holes but fresh air. He's very bright. God. A leading light. 
Sooty's other very special friends. So let's go and let's see who this week Harry remembers. Uh, thank you, Matthew. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. Uh, let's meet Sooty's special friends for this week. Over here we have Simon. He's from Luton and he's five years old. Hello, Simon. Nice to see you. Shake Sooty's paw. Go on. That's it. That's lovely. <laughs> And over here we have Nicola, and she's from Dunstable. She's six years old. Say hello to Sue, Nicola. Uh, hello, Nicola. Hello. <laughs> well, now let's see what I can remember this week. Uh, let me see. Oh, yes, about a year ago, I had a swimming lesson, and the instructor was Matthew. Would you like me to tell you all about it? Yeah. All right. Well, all sit down nice and quietly. You see, it, it was a very hot summer. And I was having a nice afternoon's rest at home. And, oh, dear. Hello, Susie. Hello, sweet. Is Mr. Corbett in? He, he is good. Listen, the other day, he was saying that he's not a very good swimmer. Well, I had a good idea, because there's a big house down the road with a great big swimming pool, and I thought I could pretend to be a swimming instructor and charge Mr. Corbett five pounds a lesson. How about that? funny. You'll never believe I'm an instructor. Hmm. Does he know that you two are good swimmers? He doesn't? Well, listen, you two can pretend to be my pupil, and when he sees how good you are, then he'll have lessons from me. Okay? So you get out of the pool, and I'll see you there. Off you go. Off you go. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, you can't swim until I say so. You, is it? What yes. do you want? I have come to offer you expert swimming tuition at only five pounds a lesson. You're no swimming instructor. Oh, yes, I am, and I can prove it. Well, I'm sorry, I can't go down because I haven't any trunks. Trunks? Trunks? Trunks provided. There we are. Just your style. The size. I can't. No, yes, that. you can. There's no problem at all. There's no problem at all. Look at these, they're ridiculous. Nice, aren't they? Anyway, I still don't think you don't know anything about instructing. Oh, yes, I do, because look, I've got two of my swimming pupils down there. Sooty and sweep. That's right. And besides them, I've also got a diving pupil. Now, would you like to see him? I certainly would, yes. All right. Russell! Come and do a dive for us, will you, please? Well, he's on the no, 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 it's all right, just do a dive. Well, what about it's the... all right, just, just do a dive. The thunder spray. It's thunder spray. Its first dive is called a thunder spray. Off you go. <laughs> oh. uh, I thought it was amazing. Yes, Fantastic. Would you like to see another one? Yes. All yes, right. Sir. Russell, can you give us the Captain Cook, please? Captain Cook. The Cook. It took me years to teach him that. Yes, it's amazing, isn't it? Can't believe it. Uh, can we see something of the other field pools? Yes, all right. Thank you very much, Russell. Thank you. Come and have a look. That's it. This is their final lesson, Mr. Corbett, and Sooty is just about to do his solo swim. Oh, really? Would you like to see it? I yeah. certainly would, would yes. Would you? All right. Yeah. Right, Sooty. Uh, Sweet, you can leave now. You go to the side and get ready for your dive. Sooty, I'll take your ring off. 
Off you go, swim over there. What about that? Very good. Bit of floating, so you float on your back. Backstroke. What do you think about that? That's terrific. Now, swim back to our city, do a bit of crawl. How's that, Mr. Corbett? I can't believe it. Well, that's absolutely marvellous. You enjoyed that, did you? Marvellous, I must say. All right, Sooty, you can go and have a rest now. Would you like to see a diving display now? I oh, I certainly would. With sweep? Would. Yes. Would you? See sweep diving. There he is on the board. Instruction? Yes. Well, I'll tell you what. If you want instruction, we'll have to have a good, strong rope. Just oh, a minute. Right, There's one here. Uh, it's Is it? Just let me hold this give you well, I'll give it a good pull. Go. Hold on to that end. Look out! Look out! Swimming instructors. Get hold of the end and pull yourself back out. Come on. Oh, what an instructor. Listen, can I make a suggestion? Make a suggestion. I will lie on the stool. Yes. And you just <coughs> show me the move, the arm movements, because I'd like to learn the crawl. The crawl. The crawl, the crawl right. Right. Well, and get down on the stool. Sit down there, and I'll lie on the stool. Now, what you want to do is arm over there and arm, arm over, over there. Arm over there, like that. And this one. And this one. Yes. Like this. Yes. <laughs> same place next week. Until then, just before we leave you, let's have everybody on the floor to dance to Sooty's disco, disco. And here's Freddie Davis to dance along with us. Here we go, it's Proud Mary. Come on, dance up and down. Come on, clap your hands. 